Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. Let's learn Shallow by Lady Gaga. And the song is on G major scale for the most part, at least the verse and the chorus. So in the G major scale, there's predominantly your G, C and D major chords. G major, C major and D major, right? The normal major chords. And then you have the minors which are used as well. E minor starts the song off, which is the 6 minor. And A minor is the 2 minor, which is also used in the chorus uh, when they start. So they start the verse and the chorus with a minor chord. The verse is E minor. And the chorus. It starts on A minor. So let's first go through the chords. And then look at some of the timing information and the rhythmic information, right? So the verse of the song <clears throat> basically goes E minor, D with F sharp bass and G major. That's the first half. So if you have to divide it into two. Tell me something, boy. So E minor, D with F sharp and G major. So D with F sharp basically means you play a D major chord in the right hand with a F sharp bass in the left hand. And the chords in the right hand need to also be a bit close. You don't want to do... Or... You don't want it to be very scattered. So the way I'm playing it is near middle C, which is generally what we do. Okay, try to get that E minor D with F sharp And G major Okay, and then you go C Normal C So the second half of the verse is C Four times G twice And then D twice Okay, so let me also point it out with the chords. One, two, three, four, and so this G will also come in at the end of the four, not at the one of the next bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So this is essentially for four counts plus an additional half count because you're starting it at the four end, right? So let's look at it again. One and two and three and four and one. Tell da 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 da. Two, three. Same thing. One, two. Turn da 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 da. So that C four times. Na, na, na. G twice. D. And then this D also comes in at the offbeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three and four. So this is at the end of two. This is at the end of four. So let's put it all together. Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Off. Mm, G major. C. Da, na, 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 na. G. D. Which is at the off. Let's do that again. So whenever you do these quick chords, E minor to D, which I've marked here, this happens over four counts. So that means each chord will be played twice. Okay. So what you may want to do is just hold these chords. And whenever you play the longer chords like G and C, you can play those slightly longer in duration. One, two, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So you can continue playing G from there, right? One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, and two, and three, and G, D. So this is the whole verse. Even the pre-chorus. And then 
let's go through the chorus now which is the first two bars you're going to do a minor pretty much na 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 and the second four four beat sorry first four first bar you do a minor for four counts na 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 the same d with f sharp bass which we saw in the verse na 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 g g d e minor 2 3 4 so again you have an instance where g and d are played faster right so let's do that again a minor na na d with f sharp na 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 na. The G to D four E minor two three again. Na 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 na. And then in the shallow, shallow. like that however there's also a bass part which i've marked out in uh, blue color where you can play as a connector to go to the next chord so you have a minor g so probably at the end of the bar at beat 4 you could hit the a minor with a g bass so i repeat a minor g So that's A minor in the right hand with G in the bass. Let's repeat that. A minor G D with F sharp D normal D. So you do D with F sharp for two counts. D with normal D. Now this doesn't happen throughout the song. Uh, I think this happens probably at the second half of the chorus, line three and line four. So at this point. In the shallow, shallow. A minor with G bass, D with F sharp, D with D. Come from the shallow now. Okay. And also, whenever you have the introduction going on, you guys could play something like what the guitarist is doing. So let me just give you that sort of an idea. So it's sort of like. Just there, right? This is just the int interlude where there's no singing. E minor played like this. Then let's repeat that again. So you can do this whenever there's an interlude. And there's one more part in the chorus, which is the bridge, which happens only once in the song, right? So there, I've written down the chords. So I'll just point this out as I play. Oh, B minor, oh, D major. Everything four times. Oh, 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 oh E minor, B minor, mm -hmm, A minor, A major. A minor chorus. So just note that in the bridge you have a A major chord, which is actually not part of the G major scale to begin with, right? So we go B minor, D major, A major. Basically, four counts of each chord. Last A major, you can play eighth notes in the left hand. Okay. And the last score is definitely a little heavier, right? So this is "Shallow" by Lady Gaga. Hope you guys found the tutorial useful. Cheers.